So glad so many people could come out tonight. You could be at home watching reality TV, but you decided to come out to reality. Incredible. Because you have done such, I would like to share with you something near and dear to my heart. Quite literally, they're called my nipples. Hey, I'm running out. I'm exposing you to my long, weird body for a reason. It's because the law says that anyone can expose their nipples in public as long as those nipples are attached to a body that is attached to a penis. That's right. Not all nipples are created equally in our society. If you've got a body that's got a vagina attached to it, sorry. You can't bring those nipples out in public unless you're feeding the baby. <laughs> I guess you can, or those nipples and yourself will be taken to jail, where ironically, you're gonna be looking at a lot of lady nipples. <laughs> I think that's the biggest discrimination between men and women. Nipple inequality. A lot of people make a big deal about how women, on average, get paid less, 20% less than men, but they, their nipples are 100% more illegal than men. That seems like a bigger deal to me. The law says you got felonies attached to your chest. Look at my nipples, as free as eagles, soaring through the majestic sky. Your nipples are as free as eagles wearing mandatory bras. <laughs> How sad is that? Very sad. I'm here to protest with you if you want to protest. <laughs> Ladies, you ever, if you ever want to be equal to men, bust those titties out. <laughs> The weight of those boobs will tip the scales of justice. <laughs> Woo! I'm right there with you. I'm trying to do a similar protest with my ball sack. Why are public ball sack appearances illegal? What ball sacks ever do to anybody? If anything, they get hurt by everybody all the time. You're seeing somebody's ball sack, you're seeing the most sensitive side of that person. But if you have your ball sack out in public, you could be taken to jail, where ironically, you're gonna be seeing a lot of ball sacks. How did it get to be this way? Is the fear that somehow a ball sack would turn somebody on sexually? Has that ever happened in the history of the world? You're just looking at balls and you're getting horny? I don't think so. I checked the internet, guess what? All the weird ass porn sites I went to, none of them were just balls in action. Coincidentally, if you'd like to purchase the domain, just balls in action.com, it is available. Why, why is any part of our body illegal? We were born naked, it's only natural. Babies are naked a lot, we never take them to jail. But then our bodies and our genitals get a little bit bigger, next thing you know, our genitals are contraband. I know that there's a lot of, I haven't seen any ladies' boobs here, but I can only imagine that they're way better than mine. And honestly, my whole passion behind this, everything I'm saying, revolves around getting more boobs out in public. Because, hey, women's boobs, they serve a purpose, feeding babies. Uh, mine don't really serve a purpose other than growing these weird ass hairs. <laughs> I usually rip them out to keep them smooth, but I've been rolling out for months on purpose just to show you fine folks. 
a nipple hair burden that I deal with on the daily. I don't want to alarm anybody, but there are some women out there that have hair on their nipples. And it's not a big deal. It's just nature, but it's not really fair to babies. They gotta eat off of those things. They always get all these hairs in their food. It's unsanitary. What if the health department saw that? And shut those titties down. Sorry, babies, kitchen's closed. Hang a failing health grade around mom's neck. I'm concerned about this issue because I used to be a baby. And I know that babies, most of them, can't even speak English. <laughs> what do they do when they feel discomfort? They cry. Then mama thinks the baby's still hungry, pops that hairy titty back in his mouth. <laughs> I used to get my food from booze all the time. I don't remember much about it, but it must have been fantastic because to this day, I will suck on boobs for long periods of time, regardless of nutritional value. I wish I could just buy some human boob milk from the store. Wouldn't that be nice? I have a carton with a picture of the woman that created that beverage that you're consuming. And you can look at it right in the face. Say, oh, thank you, Brenda from Ohio. I think I'll try some of you on my cereal. Mmm, that's some tasty Brenda. All the grocery stores got is that goddamn cow milk. Cows, taking away Americans' women's jobs. We gotta build a wall around these cows. We gotta milk America great again. Lately I've been drinking almond milk. Which is delicious. Woo! You know, I that. Hey, I'm a milk fan. What's up? Maybe you can explain to me how it happens because I don't even have nipples. <laughs> I did meet a stripper named Alden one time, and she did have nipples. But that is a different story. I I'm gonna bring this up, this shocking thing that I read. I read that some women can reach orgasm while nursing. Maybe. Uh, which means that some of us maybe have made our moms come. Now Think about the talent of that baby. That child's a goddamn boob sucking prodigy. Maybe he doesn't even know about it because that mom's probably not going to tell that kid. That's a tough conversation to have with your kid no matter what age they are. If you'd like to know, if you if you'd like to go there with your relationship with your mom, I think this is a good icebreaker. <laughs> First, ask your mom, was I breastfed as a child? If the answer is yes, follow-up question. So, how was I? <laughs> I feel like if the mom didn't tell anybody, it was probably her girlfriends after a few mimosas at a Sex in the City style brunch. 
Talk about that Johnny Jr. teach his dad a thing or two. <laughs> you go, girl. You get you. <laughs> there comes the sad part of the story. Dad comes in, catches his little baby, giving his wife an orgasm. What do you do? How conflicting would that be? Do you get mad? Or do you get on that other nipple, start sucking that one? Is that, is that why Mother Nature gave us two nipples? Family activities? I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm going to say one more horrible thing and then I'm going to stop saying it. Again. I can't help notice that there is a correlation between my love for sucking on boobs today and how I got my food when I was a young little baby. And I can't help but wonder if there's a same correlation between people that love giving men oral sex and how maybe they've got some semen protein to nourish them back in the day. Sounds terrible. But, imagine this hypothetical scenario that saves a baby's life. Family goes out to the wilderness to escape society. Seems like a great idea. Nature's nice. Until, uh-oh, grizzly bear kills mom, winter comes in, daddy and baby are snowed in, supplies are dwindling, What's the dad to do? Only thing he can do is let that baby suck on the tip of his penis, providing much needed proteins and a lifelong love of sucking dick. Again, sounds terrible. I realize that, but that dad saved that baby's life in this hypothetical scenario. So. Those on this side, this man said there's got to be another way. And I agree. I don't know what it is, but I agree. Because we don't know what happens when we're babies. We can't remember that. Who likes sucking dick? Who? There's no, yeah, there's no shame in it. I've never tried it. It might be alright. I did try it one time with my own penis, but it didn't work. <laughs> anyway, the point is, if you want to know if you were ever fed with your dad's penis, a uh, similar situation with a mom, just ask your dad, hey, was I ever penis fed as a child? <laughs> If the answer is yes, no need for that follow-up question of how was I, because you already know, because you got that semen food. So, <laughs> boom! Hey, that's the end of my set. How about that? Thanks, everybody. Who's Troy Coleman? Yeah, free nipple. What's